Hi, church family. So let's go back to 1 Corinthians 15. There are some gems in this passage of scripture, such as verse 2, where Paul says, I remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and then here it is, by which you are being saved. You are being saved. So your salvation, your redemption uh, does not commence after death and into the new heavens and the new earth. It begins when you become a Christian. Your eternal life begins when you give your life to Christ. And so the invitation is an invitation to begin becoming what God will finally produce in you later. Start now becoming by grace, through faith, trusting in the Lord, leaning upon him, depending upon him. Start now looking like Jesus, acting like Jesus, thinking like Jesus in the faith that God, uh, who called you to his own, will see to it that he who began a good work in you will be faithful on the day of Christ Jesus. This is the God we worship. The God who doesn't say, I'm going to save you now, but uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, now go on. No, he's walking with me. He is accompanying me. Uh, nothing happens to me that first hasn't gone through him. And if it gets to me, it's already gone through him. So it's come with some good purpose, refining me, purifying me, uh, making me more and more like Jesus Christ. And that's the goal. That's what Paul means when he says you are being saved. You're being saved from the power of sin's dominance. And day by day, moment by moment, Jesus Christ is leading me, walking with me in victory because the gospel is good news. Heavenly Father, as we begin today, remind us over and over again that you are continually rescuing us and saving us uh, from this present darkness and bringing us into the kingdom of light. And that light is began the moment we received Jesus as King. Now, Lord, we trust our day to you. Whatever comes our way, oh, we know that you will be sovereign over it for your glory and our good. And the church said, amen.